Welcome to today's video, and we're going to be looking at the pen. The pen is a real extension. It's a really awesome extension. It's one of the best, really, extend out of all extensions. Well, it has a lot of blocks, so we'll get started now. So, we'll start from the this. The erase all block, we can't use it yet, because we haven't drawn anything. Well, it just does what it says. It's going to erase everything that you've drawn. And there's the stamp. The stamp is a very cool block. Watch. I've clicked it a bunch of times, right? I think see? If I move him over, oh my god. Well, but I can't move that stamp. See, I can't move the stamp, but I can move, stamp him all over the place. Basically, you're stamping a copy of him. But this copy cannot be controlled, moved, done anything with. It's just there. It's just a part of the background now. That's really it. That's literally it. A clone, on the other hand, which you can you go to the uh, control area, I believe. Events, actually. And you can make a clone. I told you it was in the events, yeah. When maybe create clone of myself, and you can and you can control those clones, like make like a clones, like the like bad guys always make clones of themselves for some reason, and you can and you can cop and you can control them. But here you can't really control this clone. The clone just stays there. Well, now I now I can't find which one is actually him. Oh, okay, there he is. See, and they look identical though. So now let's look at the pen down. The pen down, you have to do the pen down before you start moving. Watch. Let me explain why. So what we're, what we're going to do is I'm just going to make this little program that lets me uh, move him around with my cursors. And I know in, the, in, an, in another video, this these ones aren't really smooth, but they, are really e but, but they aren't really smooth to move him around. You'll know if you check the sensing video. That, that it's not very smooth to use these ones, but they still work, and they're much easier to use. So, let's just stick with these ones for now. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm making, the, I'm, I'm, I'm making myself be able to control the player, my guy, so I can uh, draw around with him, so I can show you. So, okay, so now let me explain something. When you start drawing something or coloring, you have to put the pen down onto the paper before you can actually start doing anything. If you just hold the paper in air and you start writing something, it won't go on the paper. Same logic here. When you put the pen, when you click, when this block goes into action, what you're basically saying is that the pen is going is going to be down. Okay. So what what that so when the pen is down, you're ready to draw, and the pen and the counter block for this it's right here. Let me just go here. It's the pen up block, and when the pen up block and what the pen up block does is. What the pen up block done is when you're done drawing, we you want to move your hand over to somewhere else on the piece of paper, you lift the pen up or your pencil and you move it over. Or else you leave the or else if you keep your pen 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 or paper pencil on the paper and you move it across to the new place where you want to continue writing or drawing, it'll make the line. It'll make a line there. And you don't want that. So so and then let's say let's uh set the pen color to that, yeah. So the pen color is that. Okay, so now if I move my player, nothing happening. See, if I'm moving him, let me just first erase all, get rid of all the stamps. So now if I move this guy, he's not moving. He's, he, I mean, like, he is moving, but, like, there's no pen. But now if I press my space key, and then I move him around. See that black line? See that line right there? Let's also just put the color to blue as well, because black is not a very interesting color to draw with. Now... Oh, wait, that's so dumb. I can't tell from here. For some reason, it looks like black. Well, now you watch your wonderful drawing of a some kind of boot here that I have made here. So, once I finish this boot... Okay, well, that's done. Now, what, what we need is the... So, now let's look at the next one. The pen down, pen up. I told you the pen up. The set pen color. You can really choose any color. That's what I've done here. Let's make it some... Oh, that's why I couldn't tell that's blue. It's so dark. Let's make it a nice lime green. Click on it. Let's move him up, up and down. Look at this wonderful visible green. You know, it's so visible. Okay. And then let's use the change pen color by ten. You know how in the in the looks menu in the other in the in the looks video that you saw that you must have looked if you watched it, you can see that there's a change color effect by twenty five. You're changing it, or you can change the size. Same here. You're changing the pen color by ten. I change it now. If I click it a bunch of times. Now it won't be green. Oh, it's that blue. Now if I click it a few more times, it's a different color. Click it a few more times, it's a different color. Oh no, it's back to lime green. Click it once, it's a different color. No, well, it's just a different shade of green. Click it another time, 
not a different, it's a blue now. Yeah, you get the idea. And then there's the set pen color too. Oh yeah, like number, just like this. Each each one of these has a has each one of these num each one of these colors has a value. So and you can also do that with the saturation, brightness, and trans transparency. I don't see much difference. Oh wait, now okay. So that's see, I told you you can do draw an invisible ink. It's so transparent. You can that's what I thought. That's better. That's better. Let's look at the saturation. Mm hmm. Nothing much. Yeah. That's basically the color. The color to a hundred. Oh no. Oh, well, I have to go back. Set the transparency back to zero. Thank you. Now I can draw the color. Oh, we're still on this color. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Color to zero. What's the zero color? I'm gonna guess it's white or black. Red. See how good I am. Okay. So now we gotta look at, and we can change the pen color. Oh yeah, back. Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot one of these things here. Oh yeah, that same thing there. And you can do a set pen color. Yeah, look at that. Let's look at pen size and set pen size. The pen size how is how fat or round or big you want your pen to be. Let's just make it like that. It won't actually get that big. It's just gonna be. Click on it. No, 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 no. We gotta get rid of that. <laughs> okay, so we'll now change the pen size by this. So when we change the pen size by that, ah, very, very, very good, very good. Now let's just put it to one again. Let's just put it to ten actually, and let's change the color to like five or something like that. Fifty six, fifty five, whatever that color is. And I'll start drawing. Oh yeah, nice, nice, nice. Well, and if we change this pen size to a hundred, it's gonna be too big again. But like, who cares? Woo hoo hoo! Big paint brushes, yeah. And uh, now my paintbrush stopped working. Yeah, that's that. And then there's the set pen size too. Just like you can change it, you can set it. That's really that one. So now let's just erase all, and let's do something. What we're gonna do is let's just make this really fun one that 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 only uses around one of these. That uses only one of these blocks. Blocks, but it's really fun. It's really cool to look at. So. This does not really have anything to do with the pen. Don't worry, there'll be another pen, a real pen project. You can check that as well after this if you want a real pen project. Because this one is just um, a fun thing to look at and it looks really nice. Let's say forever go to mouse pointer, right? So, what we want is we want an ever trailing amount of cats that look very cool. So, what we want is we want him to forever go to the mouse pointer, first of all. And then the second thing we want is to put the pen down once though, not again and again. It's really annoying. And then we need to stamp himself. But, but, well, like if we do this, then like, oh my god, infinite stamps. But the pen is, oh wait, we should not put the pen down. <laughs> because now it's drawing as well. Now if I stop it and I click erase all and I click that again. Why is he drawing? Okay, so then we've got that. Let's just set the pen color to nothing. Wait a minute. Let's just, uh, where is it? Oh, yeah, change, pe no, the pen size, yeah, yes. Let's set the pen size to zero, so it's like very small. Now let's just do this again now. Let's clear all. This is taking a long time, right? Yeah. Yeah, and we got a bunch of our beautiful cats. But yeah, but this is not this is not really cool to look at it anyway. But that's why we gotta add in the change color effect by let's put it ten because if you put twenty five, we'll run out of colors to look at soon enough. And of course, we need the flag. Obvious, obvious. Look at this. It's like one, two, three, four, five blocks of color. See what it does. Oh yeah, we also need the erase all, so six blocks of code. Probably need a few more blocks of code as well to make it more functional. But da da. And like there's and like a and like different sprites make it look different. One of the best sprites to do this on is the butterfly because if you move it like slow slowly, the butterfly would look really cool. So now we need a few things. For a, we need to erase all. We need something better to erase all instead of restarting your drawing every time. But sometimes when you draw, you want to move the cursor, and you want to do and you and you want to lift it up and you want to go put it somewhere else, right? Obviously. So, what we're just gonna use two more of these. When key pressed ones, when the space key pressed, when when the E key pressed, cause E is like erase, right? So when we press the E, it'll erase all. E E E. I'm pressing E by the way. And when you press space, it's gonna pen up. 
uh, pen up. Where is the space? Yeah. You can do a pen up. And then when you when you say when you wait, 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 you could you could do something more complicated but let's but you know let's this is much easier as well so what we're gonna do is we're gonna press when the up arrow key is pressed when the actually got a better idea when the down arrow key is pressed the pen will be down and when the up arrow key is pressed the pen will be up so pen up I mean the pen down so now if we start it. He, I want to draw like that beautiful line there, right? And I want to press the up arrow key, move him over here. Oh, I clicked the down arrow key, but anyway, now you've got your beautiful thing again. Yeah, and I've got two lines, and I want to start again. Yeah, no problem. That's really this. That's all this. So all we have for this video. Try us out some other sprites. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. Bye.